everybody. I'm taking a break from painting up some squit, some cave hoppers, better thing to say, which are really cool. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Uh, what I'm here to talk about today, and I had to make a little list because as always, Kickstarter is blowing up with 3D printable Kickstarters. So I wanted to talk about a few that had caught my eye. Full disclosure, I'm not being paid to do this. In fact, none of these people know that I'm doing this, with the exception I did talk to the guys from Battle Drill and let them know um, because I'm, I happen to be friendly with them. So let's start with that one. So Battle Drill is a game, uh, sci-fi, steampunk, I'm not sure how you categorize it exactly. And full disclosure, on the original, this is part two, on the original Battle Drill Kickstarter, which I think was over a year ago, I did do the supports for it, but I didn't do it this time around. I'm, I'm just too busy this time. But I did notice when they launched the Kickstarter, and once again, whether you play the game or not, for me, I don't, honestly, I don't play the game, but the figures are really cool. I think they've done, they have some really dynamic, really cool sci-fi figures. Uh, so anyway, I think it's worth checking out. And if you want to play the game, check out how the game is played and whatever. You might be interested in the game. That I don't know. Uh, but again, it has good figures. And I think it's very interesting. And, and I think the price is pretty decent also. Uh, I think it's 30 bucks, $32, something like that for, the, for this Kickstarter. And I think if you want the first Kickstarter and this Kickstarter together, then it's like $60. So it's not bad because you're also getting a game. Uh, and like I said, just I'll flash some pictures here. Uh, Heroes and Henchmen by Rocket Pig. This one caught my eye because Rocket Pig usually makes, as far as I know, they normally make a support free figure. So at first I thought this was going to be a Kickstarter of support free miniatures. And then I looked and it's actually, they, they've gone to uh, figures that are more dynamic and need supports. And then they're giving you pre-supported models. I thought this was interesting because some of the models look really good to me. That's a hundred models for 50 bucks, which to me, you know, I always think, I know we're spoiled these days by Patreon spinning out models so cheap monthly, basically for everyone. But on a Kickstarter, to me, anything less than a dollar per STL to me is very reasonable. So this is is fifty cents per STL. So hundred models, fifty bucks. I think is very very reasonable. Take a look; they do have some very very cool stuff. I like that they went away um, from the uh, support free models because support free models, as good as they can look obviously don't look as good and dynamic and detailed as, as models that, that have supports, unfortunately. So I think uh, for me, looking at them, that seems like a departure for them. Maybe they've been doing this and I didn't know, but this Kickstarter caught my eye and it's, it's uh, again, 100 miles for 50 bucks look pretty good. Then there's another one called Lost Souls, uh, which also, again, if you're into the style of model, has some very cool models. And there, I think it's uh, 60 models for almost 40 bucks. So again, under the $1 per SDL price, I, I always think is a bargain still. And uh, again, check that out, Lost Souls, see if those models appeal to you. I think for the people they appeal to, you're gonna back this. Um, honestly, for me, that's not the kind of models I play with, but still caught my eye because it, it's, it's good looking stuff, you know? Um, and I think they have a lot of backers also, which means other people also think it's good looking. Uh, then there's Furhaven. Furhaven, this one's already at 65,000 bucks. It's, it's, I think it's aimed at children, apparently. Uh, for like entry into D&D and stuff like that. That's really cute stuff. It looks like really uh, high quality production values and like a lot of work went into it. I mean, it just looks like a good solid Kickstarter to me. Again, not my cup of tea particularly, but I'm pointing out to you, my audience, because for some of you, it might be exactly what you want. You might have young kids you want to get into D&D and all that stuff. And this this looks like it would be a good entry point. Um, I think that's, that's by, uh, that's, I think this one's by Kim who did the, the really popular um, Dice Kickstarter, Dice Tower Kickstarter last year, uh, Fate's End. Fate's End was the Dice Tower. And, and so this, this looks really nice. So again, if you have small kids you want to introduce to D&D, I think that's what this is for. Take a look at Furhaven. And then the last one is a pretty cool one, um, High Elves vs. Dwarves. So this is very specific. It is Elves vs. Dwarves. Some of the models, you know, it's Elves holding Dwarves heads, Dwarves holding Elves heads. So it is a little specific. But the models, some of the models, really, really nicely done. And this one, uh, I think you get 100 files for under 50 bucks. I mean, 44, 45 bucks, something like that. So again, you're at the two STLs per dollar price, which seems to be, as I'm looking down my list, seems to be kind of, uh, you know, in that realm, all these are, are pricing their STLs at less than a dollar a piece, it looks like. Um, so they all look reasonably priced, and that's one, two, three for five Kickstarters on right now that I think are all doing, you know, kind of okay and look like they have good stuff. So I just wanted to take a break from my painting my squid cave hoppers and 
and take a break from that to just throw some light on these uh, Kickstarters. And hopefully, look, I like for anyone's Kickstarters to be supported because I, I support creativity in our community and makers, you know, making more stuff for us. The more stuff that gets made, the better it is for us. So that's it. I have some uh, resin tests coming in the next day or two videos. My review of the Any uh, Cubic Photon Ultra uh, should be out actually tomorrow. So one day from the making of this video, I should be releasing that. That'll be interesting. And uh, that's it. Thanks and happy 3D printing.